Hi! Welcome to Let's Build. I'm your host, Scary Bagels. You know, I love Fantasy Star. One of my favorite video game series of all time. Especially number two. And I'll get into all the reasons why I really love Fantasy Star 2. Because there's a lot of reasons. And it's a really, really great series to talk about. So, let's begin, shall we? So, fantasies in this build, we're right now just doing the floor of the main building, the government building of um, Passio. Now, this government building is pretty much the most important building in the first city you go to. It's where you get your overall mission, and it's right before you get introduced to the secondary, your first um, teammate, Nye, which is a Newman. Now, in the original Fantasy Star series, Newmans were genetic, genetically engineered creatures combining human DNA and biomonster DNA. It's a really complicated story, but suffice to say, Nye was the first one. Well, technically second. But the whole being second one is because she butted off the original, which is known as Nye first, and I don't even want to get into that. So, why do I love Fantasy Star? Well, there is a lot of reasons. Fantasy Star is the very first, um... RPG I ever saw. My dad and my second oldest brother, they used to play this all the time, and I used to watch them. I used to be the type of kid that would watch my dad and my older brother and whatever play video games. And back then, that was the cool thing to do. Oh, by the way, I do make several mistakes in this game, or this build right now. Like, at the very top left-hand corner, you can see I miscounted the number in the middle, so I'll be working on that. Anyways, in Fantasy Star, um, Fantasy Star 2, there's a whole complicated story involving what's known as the Newman. Now, who are the Newman, you might ask? The Newman are, are not Newman, the Earthmen. The Earthmen came from Earth because in Fantasy Star 3, um, one of the star, um, escape pods from Fantasy Star 2, which escaped because the um, another space station fell onto um, Parma, which is the home planet of the Palmen, which were basically the human analogs. And with that, um, how does it? And because it crash landed onto um, planet Earth, the Earthmen found out where it came from and they took that and made a... What's the word? They made a ship to get to um, what's known as the Algol star system. Now, the Algol star system is a real star system. It's a trinary star system, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Now, th however, it does not have any... Um, planets on it, unlike the game. The game, the first two games, had three planets. It had um, Parma, or Palma, or Palma, or however you want to pronounce it. It had Moda, Modavia, Modabia. Those were all translations of it. And you had um, Dezo, or Dezo, Dezorilis, Dezorolis, or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce these words, because they never showed up in text, or voice. They always showed up in text. And I, we never got the Fantasy Star Compendium, which was basically the all-knowing guide for the Fantasy Star series. I would have loved to own one, but they're probably way too expensive. So, Fantasy Star started off with um, Alice. A unassuming girl of about 16 years old, who, through um, happenstance, was actually the ex-queen, or the princess of the planet, 
before the planet was taken over by Lashik, if I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Lashik was basically the bad guy, or he was being controlled by the Dark Force. Now the Dark Force is a recurring um, boss, and the Dark Force contains all the negative emotions, all the negative feelings of the universe. And it was created by what's known as the Profound Darkness. Now, thousands of years ago, the Profound Darkness was created, um, had a massive bo battle with, um, I want to say the um, Glorious Light or something like that, but I'm not sure. I forget the exact name. I haven't played Fantasy Star 4 in a long time. But, suffice to say, it lost and it got trapped. Supposedly forever, but we all know how that goes. It got out some way, but it didn't get out at first. What happened is it only partially got out, enough to let itself manifest itself in our world, and it could affect us in some ways. So, that's what the Dark Force is. It's the manifestation of the Profound Darkness. But in Fantasy Star 4, the Profound Darkness is dead. But we're getting way ahead of ourselves because in Fantasy Star 2, which we're building from, um, everything really fucks up. The heroes of the story, they basically die at the end. There's no, like, oh, they could possibly have lo lived. No, they went out into deep outer space, fighting all the Earthmen on Starship Noah, I believe it was named. Or it might be Space Station Noah. And they stop Mother Brain from destroying the Al Gold Star System, but they lost their lives. And no one would ever know. In fact, Rolf Landale, the main character, he would he basically went down in history as a traitor, as a terrorist, as a destroyer, when in fact he was trying to do the exact opposite. Even though he did cause the destruction of Parma, which is his home town or home sit planet. So in Fantasy Star 2, there were only two known planets. There was Moda, and there was Parma, or Desorilis, which is home of the Desolians, which is where Raja, my favorite character in the series, comes from. Why do I love Raja? Because he's just so... He tells the worst jokes. He's a lech, he's a drunk, he's a terrible comedian, but he's having fun with life, and I can appreciate that. Even when it's darkest, he doesn't let it totally put him down. He goes, oh, shit, this sucks, but here, let me cheer you all up. And you know, I appreciate that. He's the type of guy, I could really see him being um, based on Buddhist ideology there. The idea of emptiness and of uh, bliss. We're getting so far off topic though. So in Fantasy Star 2, the main enemy was Mother Brain. But not Mother Brain from Metroid. This Mother Brain was an AI. And the thing about it was that the Earthmen screwed with it. Mother Brain was designed to take care of all the planets and make them habitable so that no matter what, anyone could live anywhere. Then she started to do experiments, which is where, bi where bio monsters come from. And bio monsters are kind of the standard issue enemy after Fantasy Star 2. Because fantasy and bio monsters are genetically engineered creatures. Mutations, if you will. And the, one of the main characters, in fact, one of the strongest death scenes in all of video games, I would say, Nye, is a half bio monster. She's a genetically engineered creature of human and bio monster DNA. And I think that's really surprising. I, I really loved how they handled the death scenes in Fantasy Star. 
They're just some of the most beautiful death scenes, I would say, and some of the most impacting. Because unlike Aristeth, where the characters all just bit, toss her into the lake and then walk away, and then later dealing with it, no, while the impact is still there of watching Alice's death in Fantasy Star 4, you sit there, you just see them talking about it, and talking about how they sometimes feel like giving up. And you know, as much as I harp, Fantasy Star, or Final Fantasy, it does some good things. It did a lot of good things at back in the day. Fantasy Star, or Final Fantasy 4 and um, 6 are some of my favorite Final Fantasies. As well as tactics, but... I don't know, for some reason the death scene of Alice in Fantasy Star 4 really affected me. It was a really sad scene, and she, unlike Al um, Eris, who was essentially the healer character, she had the best healing, I guess. But unlike her, um, Alice was a really good fighter. She was based your top tier fighter in, at the start until she died. And then Chaz had to take up the role, and Chaz was kind of weaker in a way. But then again, he was un inexperienced, which I think is a really good um, use of the character by showing his potential and having him grow. And the fact that later on he had to face Alice, a re not a revive per se, but I forget exactly what happened. I think it was just a clone. But we are heading into Fantasy Star 4 territory, I must say. I really want to talk about Fantasy Star 2. So, what we're doing is we're building um, the floor. Yeah, pretty much that's what this is, is the floor. And I don't know why, but the floor is probably the longest part. As you can see, there's a lot of geometric patterns to it, and it takes a bit of doing to um, figure out how to plan this out. Because on one hand, you could just look at the map like what I did, but you still have to decide how you want to do it. Now, I used a 3 by 5 um, for, or 5x5 five five for the basic block. So the L shapes that you see, there are three 5x5s five five put together. And then the L are the um, straight lines are twos. And then there's ones. And then you have to work them all in so that they look like a pattern instead of just throwing them all around randomly. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have just built it up with just ones all over the place. But for this, that would have looked terrible. So you really want to be careful with how you um, plan out your floors, because you could just use one standard pattern or one block, and for the most part that would look fine, but if you're really wanting to do something that looks awesome, you got to go with geometric patterns, or you got to do something to show off how it looks. So now I'm starting the building since I got the floor plan fin or the floor finished. And I thought this I thought the floor would be too small, but it ended up being just right, I think. And I think I'm only going to do the first floor maybe 4 to 8 high, but then the rest of it is just going to be this massive tower. As you can see here, I'm pulling this down, and I'm doing this too deep just so that I could um, have plenty of room for it. And I really gotta learn to move the camera around while I'm doing this so that you guys could see everything I'm doing. And I'm using bl blue wool because blue wool is something... The colors of the building is blue. But because I don't have um, a lot of blue colors, I had to end up going with blue. Really wish the clay would have had a better blue color, but that's not. That's something I can't really argue about anymore. Well, anyways, so what we're doing right here is we're building this up so that we can build into the wall and give it a little bit more depth instead of just trying to do um, a 3D sprite art. Give it a little more depth, depth. Give it a bit more style and everything. So. 
We are just about done for the day, so I want to wish you guys well, and I hope to see you guys again. And maybe next time we'll talk a bit more about Fantasy Star, maybe some more about its chronology, and a bit more about everything else about Fantasy Star and why I like it so much. So, I'll see you later. Bye!